Steve remnants of today's violence left behind here. You have caution tape surrounding the spot where their driver crashed here today. Now I spoke with business owners, people who work in this area, and they are concerned that Durham's gun violence will impact their business. Now I spoke to business owners before and they told me that the city's gun violence has impacted their customer base and their revenue. On a Tuesday evening, you might find Quashon Cunningham and his dog Prince on a walk near the American Tobacco Campus. Durham is a lot of good food spots, um, a lot of places to walk the, the little guy here, so um, I really enjoyed it. But Quashon and Prince's daily hangout was the backdrop for a violent day. Police spent hours investigating a drive-by shooting that happened near Alof Hotel and Tobacco Road Sports Cafe. Investigators say two people in a stolen car shot at two people who were walking. Evidence markers show bullet casings near this parking garage. The driver crashed into a planter right in front of Aloft Hotel, then ditched the car and ran away. Makes you a little curious and have to be like a little wary about what times you come outside. And the time of day may have made all the difference in whether or not someone was seriously injured. Police say the shooting happened around 1030 Tuesday morning. Any later in the day, the area, which is a popular place, could have been packed with people attending a show, checking into their hotel, or grabbing something to eat. We have a great crowd tonight. We have a couple private events going on this evening in the private rooms and uh, pretty full dining rooms. Brian Murphy is the general manager at Nana Steak. It stepped away from where police spent hours investigating Tuesday's drive-by shooting. Well, I'm sure people might be a little bit nervous, but uh, you know, I feel like with the security that we have around here in the American Tobacco Campus, is, it's really good. You know, we're really well lit. Brian is hopeful this incident won't keep people away since the police say the shooting wasn't random. But other businesses have seen the impacts of this city's gun violence with a loss of customers, employees, and revenue. Hopefully it's just an isolated incident and uh, we can all keep going, move forward. Now there's still a lot of questions surrounding this shooting. We brought some of those questions to the Durham Police Department. Is there surveillance video that will help them identify the suspects? Of course, once we get additional information, we will pass that along to you guys. But I can tell you there is security here around the American Tobacco Campus. I can feel the presence as well as see the presence as well. Lauren and Steve.